So on Friday, I released my latest Steam Deck news video. In this video, I talked about this interesting revelation that Valve might be including Android app support in Steam. Now, they're packaging it with Steam VR, but it could open the door to playing Android games on the Steam Deck. Well, the comments were overwhelmingly supportive of the idea in that video, with some even mentioning that they've been doing this for years already on their Steam Deck. I mean, the fact is, this is entirely possible. Android support for Linux desktops isn't new. We've had Wadroid for a long while. Wadroid is the tech that Valve is actually using with SteamVR to bring Android support to SteamOS. But since we don't have Valve's official version of Wadroid for SteamOS, 10 Minute Steam Deck Gamer has already done all the hard work to get this working for us. Suffice it to say, Wadroid is incredibly easy to get set up and it only takes a few steps. So if you want to get Star Wars Hunter set up on your Steam Deck, or any number of other Android games for that matter, this video is here to help. The first step is to switch over to desktop mode on your deck. Hit the Steam button, and then go down to Power, and then select Switch to Desktop. Now, while it's not necessary, if you have a Bluetooth mouse and keyboard, I recommend you setting them up here, as it will make the installation process a bit easier. Again, this is not required to do. Uh, I just think that using a mouse and keyboard is much easier than using the on-screen keyboard. Now, if you don't have these available, that's fine. Whenever you need to type something in, you can use the on-screen keyboard. To bring that up, hold the Steam button and press X. Next, let's open a web browser and use the link in the description to head over to GitHub. The project we're going to use is called SteamOS Wadroid Installer, and it handles all of the heavy lifting here. Click on the green Code button, and then choose Download Zip. Now let's go and extract this archive. Open up your file manager, on SteamOS it's called Dolphin, and then using the places on the left side, select Downloads. Right click on the SteamOS Wadroid Installer main.zip file, and then select Extract, Extract Archive here. Now open up the new SteamOS Wadroid Installer main directory. Right click on an empty space here and choose Open Terminal here. In this new terminal window, we're going to type in passwd and then hit Enter. If you see Enter Current Password here, then you've already completed this step, so you can just skip ahead. But if you don't see Enter Current Password, then you'll need to type in a new one. Now, whatever you set it to, you're going to want to remember this. This is your operating system password, after all. Also note that as you type, you won't see anything appear on the screen. This is intentional. Just type in your password and hit enter. You'll also need to type it in one more time to confirm. Now, type in dot slash SteamOS and then hit the tab key twice. This should autofill dot slash SteamOS Wadroid installer dot sh. Once you see this, hit enter. This process will ask you for the password we set in the previous step. Type that in and hit enter. Now, sit back and relax because the hard part is over. After a few minutes, Wadroid should be ready and set up on your machine. While we wait for that to finish though, why not like that smash button? It's the best way to tell YouTube you wanna see more videos just like this. You can also get subscribed to stay up to date with all the fun Steam Deck stuff that we're doing here on the channel. Mondays are usually for tutorial style content like this, while Fridays are all about Steam Deck and Linux gaming news. And there's also my email newsletter. About once a month, I give a behind the scenes look at what we're working on here at Heavy Element. July's letter is gonna have a sneak peek of my next game, so use the links below to get subscribed so you don't miss that. Okay, it looks like Wadroid is done installing. So let's open up Steam and find Android Wadroid Cage.sh in your library. This is how you launch Wadroid. After a short boot process, you should see a rather familiar Android launcher. You can click or tap on the Google Play Store to get signed in and download any games that you own. Some titles won't be compatible with Wadroid, so you won't be able to download those. For example, I tried uh, Doom 3 BFG, that didn't work. I also tried Fortnite, but that didn't work either. But Roblox is possible. Uh, a few others that did work for me are Monument Valley, Fruit Ninja, and Deus Ex Go. I know that there are a few folks who mentioned Star Wars Hunters in the comments of my last video, so I thought I would give that a spin. It actually works great, except that the textures in-game are like potato quality for some reason. I tried adjusting the settings and nothing seemed to improve the textures. However, it is quite playable in its state, even if it looks kind of muddy. 
Uh, if you know how to make the game look better, sound off in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Now, if you're playing in desktop mode, hold the start button down for three seconds and the gamepad will switch from mouse and keyboard to controller config. You can then play any game with controller support quite easily. And to get back to desktop mode, hold the start button again for three seconds. But you can also launch Wadroid from game mode too. Just find AndroidWadroidCage.sh in the non-Steam game section of your library and launch it. You will definitely want to mess around with controller configuration here. I found that a good middle ground is to use the stock gamepad config and modify the right trackpad to work as a mouse. And then pressing on the trackpad should be mapped to left mouse click. It's also worth noting that game mode seems to intercept touch events and converts them to mouse events by default. To enable proper touchscreen support in game mode, go into the controller settings, select edit, and then go to action sets, hit this gear icon, and then select add always on command. Finally, go down to the new command we created, then navigate to the system section and select touchscreen native support. Now, not only does tapping and dragging work as you would expect, but also multi-touch is fully functional here, which is wonderful. So what are my overall thoughts? Well, frankly, Wadroid works great. It's essentially an Android virtual machine on my Steam Deck with near native performance, and that makes me unreasonably happy. But aside from the few Android exclusive games and maybe running some streaming apps like Netflix, especially if you want to download movies or shows while you're going on an airplane or something, this isn't going to be everyone's cup of tea. Now, I expect that if you're watching this video, if you've made it this far, you're probably the kind of person who's interested in doing this. So let me know your thoughts down in the comments. I'd love to know how you're using Wadroid on your Steam Deck. Now, I want to give a special shout out to my YouTube members, my Patreon supporters, and my Ko-Fi members. Thank you. It makes a huge difference. If you believe in the work that I'm doing, you can use the links below to pledge your support as well. And if you enjoyed this video, maybe uh, check out my Discord installation tutorial. It's a bit old, but I think it's a good one still.